It's apparently one of those days today. Backtracking as usual. On another trip to Toys R Us, picked up some I was missing out on. Legendary Free Ranger and Smolder Dash non like core. Free Ranger being a Wave 1 special and being one of the last being the last legendary for Swap Force. And Smolder Dash part of Wave 3 along with Doombug wind up the Grim Creeper already in the collection. Let's uh, start off with Legendary Free Ranger. Personally, I'm half and half on how the colors work on Free Ranger. The gold seems pretty nice. Well, I wish it would have worked on his uh, face detail. Other than that, it's not so bad. Alright. Sticker sheet. And training card. Strength at 115. Defense at 150. Speed at 110. And luck at 100. Cool. Now for a smaller dash. Now, of course, I'm going to go with another path for this one. Although I went with one upgrading path for the light core figure. May as well play something different. Get everything else out. Okay. Sticker. Train card. Strength at 135, defense at 50, speed at 85, and luck at 60. Okay, that's cool. Let's just start with no the regular smaller dash. Alright. And here is smaller dash. I have to admit, the uh, fire detail on this figure is pretty top-notch. I don't think I've seen a fire Skylander with that kind of detail. Not even Igniter could top that. But I digress. Now let's get the legendary Free Ranger. And let's get the top. Okay. Put them together. Legendary Free Ranger. Whoa, looking pretty slick. Admittedly, I like the blue and gold detail on the twister. That's actually pretty fun. That's a nice touch. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to put them together. Legendary Free Ranger and Free Ranger. No difference whatsoever. Let's put the light core and regular figure for comparison. And that about wraps up this unboxing of Legendary Free Ranger and Smolder Dash of Skylander Swap Force. Thanks for watching, peoples. I'm out.